What's up, guys? Rob's Backyard RC. Another video. I'll be pumping these things out like crazy these days. Uh, it's hot outside. That's why there's not a whole lot to do. So, Sentin upgrade. Street, Street Fighter Pro Lines on the uh, Sentin or the Arma 14mm rims awesome street tire because if you own one of these bad boys you know that the stock tires do not like concrete they just shred the flip apart they kind of don't like hard dirt either they're kind of made for soft material so that tires for street boom check uh the sentin also likes to try to fly like a butterfly at 50 miles an hour catches a shit ton of wind and with this giant body, it just poof, straight up in the air. So, uh, one of the things I've done is I've cut a hole in the back right here to allow air to tr uh, travel through here and out. So, not so much air is building up into the top of this cabin. Um, Willy Bar, I haven't figured this out yet because I, my wife just keeps fucking annihilating these things. I mean, this is, this is the second one. And so, I've got number three that i'm gonna put on it right here but i'm gonna try to uh, change a couple things on here and uh, try to reinforce this thing a little bit better on this one i'm not gonna you know first time shame on you second time shame on me third time i'm gonna put a stop to this shit so we're gonna figure that out and then also for off-road is what i've been running for off-road now is the uh big rock stock tires is what i put on this bad boy uh mind you it's perfect on 2s 3s i mean it's all right it's cool but i would probably bring your pinion down to like an 18 if you're gonna rock the big rock tires just to kind of watch your temp and not to put so much pressure on that front bearing in these sentence because the front bearing in the sentence is kind of a, a weak point of the car. So, big rock tires for off-road. Proline Street Fighters for on-road. Cut a hole in the back to let some air out of the damn thing at high speed. And then trim the fender wells so that way the big rock tires will fit. If you're trying to put any tire bigger than these stock tires on, you're going to need to trim these fender walls out now they have a, a natural there's like this little lip right here that goes along there i just went right along that line all the way around the car and uh trims that like that see boom and it looks pretty good i like it and now on this whole you know tire situation and the pinion the reason why i'm saying go to an 18 tooth pinion if you're gonna go with the bigger tires is because I put these on, and when my the way my wife drives it, it was fine. And then my brother bought the Vorkies, or Vork, whatever the hell, Vortec, or whatever it's called. Uh, he bought that thing, and he brought it over here. And I was wanting to show him that, you know, the Sentin out the box is faster than that thing. For the record, it only did 47 miles an hour out of the box, his uh, Vortec, or Vorkies, or whatever you want to call that damn thing it only did 47 miles an hour out of the box uh anyway so when i went to go punch it with the with the big rock tires on at max speed with a 100c battery in it i did take out that front bearing on my motor that's why i was saying a 22 with the bigger tires i think might be an issue so i don't know i could have just had a junky motor uh we did have a lot of people that in this last batch of sentence from like uh, i want to say from like january to about april a lot of people had issues with that front bearing burning out on them i even talked to horizon when i called them to do a warranty on it and they even said that uh, yeah they had a bad batch of motors so i mean it could have been that but it, it could have also been the fact that that is a much bigger tire uh than what they had configured the car for see the sentin has a 20 tooth pinion stock okay and so it has the smaller tires because of that 
the big rock is able to have bigger tires but because it has a 15 tooth pinion the bigger the tire the harder the load is going to be on that motor shaft so they have to gear it down some that higher the higher pinion is going to cause overheating issues and shit like that it's going to be working too hard so just my opinion if you decide that you want to trim your fenders and roll some bigger tires and all this nonsense like i did for my wife you probably want to drop that that tooth down to 18 from 20 to 18 and you're not going to lose any speed because you're putting a bigger tire on you know the two teeth that you go down it will it'll even out based on your tire size so uh anyways that's just my two cents and some little upgrades that i've done for this intent oh and then i changed the arma body clips you know the arma i'm gonna break your fingertip clips yeah i changed those out on most of my cars but i mean i haven't done anything else to it other than that this thing's all stock it does have a brand new motor in it like i said i did have to replace the horizon did warranty the motor because they said that they did have a huge batch of motors that were actually junk so maybe that's why that pinion went but i also do know that when you have the higher pinion with the bigger tires that does cause overheating it's harder on the motor shaft and stuff like that so i would say uh, 18 tooth with the big rock tires should be pretty freaking fast it's still going to be faster than uh the stock big rock like that and i'm pretty sure based on that design it's still going to be uh a 50 50 mile an hour plus car because the Centin I was able to get over 50 miles an hour with it stock out of the box with my big rock I was only able to get 50 or no 40 I believe the same speed my brother got it was like 46 47 miles an hour on my big rock stock out the box the Centin is the only one the Centin and the granite are the only two that I have bought so far because i have them all pretty much they're the only two out of the armor cars that when i bought it and drove it out the box they're the only two that actually did the speed plus stock out the box creighton over here says 60 plus out the box when i first got it, it was like 50 something uh now it's and now it does over 60 but i've had to do i've had to change things on it whatnot and then, like, my Big Rock, okay, that thing, I could probably hit, I don't know, close to 80 miles an hour with that thing if I if I could keep it straight long enough. But it didn't do that when I first bought it. But the uh, Sinton, definitely 50-plus car all day long. At least my wife's was. This one, no problem. We GPS this shit. It got going so fast when I was trying to GPS it that it took off like a butterfly in the air. And that's what led to me cutting this hole in the back and shit. Because I, it, got, it moves so fast that it just it takes flight. But anyways, that's my talk for about the Sentin. That's what I've got to say about the Sentin. Hit like and subscribe if you guys have any comments or you guys have any little extra things that you've done to your Centin that you like that you feel has made the the overall handling or the performance of the vehicle better drop a comment let me know i'm always open to some stuff you know uh everybody is always in in class i feel you know you could always learn something you'd be surprised all right well everyone enjoy their saturday